Um, now we're going to be making a star, okay? If you notice on the bottom right, we're going to be making these little flowers here. Now at first it may seem complicated, like there's no way I can do that, but you can. So let's do it. Um, so first of all, we're going to make a star. So go ahead, choose a star tool under rectangle tool. Make a star. And for this star, for the color, we're going to choose on the top right, it's called flower gradient. Go ahead and choose flower gradient. So top left, choose flower gradient. Okay, now we're going to distort our star. So we're going to go to filter, distort, and twist. And we're going to choose 45 degree angle. What angle was that? 45. Thank you. You got that, Joe? 45? So now it twists. And we got 45 degree angle. Uh, now we're going to go to window and choose attributes. And when you get your window attributes, uh, you have this option. Click on the star, and then you can click on center. Basically, this will show you the center point of your star. Because we're going to make another star, and what we want to do is when we make the second star, we want to start our cursor right on that center. And we're going to enlarge that star, and make sure that the, the points go in between the other points, like this. <laughs> And we're going to let go. We're going to click on make it white. And then we're going to go up to effect. Sorry, filter, distort, and choose pucker and bloat. Choose 50%. What was that? You got it. 50%. Hit OK. And now we have a cool flower looking thing. And we're going to choose a black outline for a stroke so we can see it over with the white background. And what's our flower missing? Yeah, what's that inside thing called? Um, we're going to make, let's see. We're going to go ahead and make that yellow or orange. So. Go ahead and choose yellow or orange for that. Uh, we are not going to have it as a stroke, so no stroke. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to shear our middle flower thing. So, what we're going to do is hit uh, Window Transform, and you'll have a transform uh, box like this. And we're going to shear it on the right here. So, we're going to shear it at 10 degrees and you'll notice that it kind of like tilts or makes it um, like that all right you guys got it draw a box around it hit command G to group it and now we're going to make copies of it remember if you hold if you cl uh, hold on the option key and click it'll duplicate it so we're going to make a cluster of three. So we're going to go one, two, and three. OK? Uh, to shear, you go to Window, Transform, and then choose Shear. It looks like that. So we're going to draw a box around it. Hit Command G to group those. We're going to zoom out, Option, Tilt it. We're going to put it in the bottom right hand corner, and we are done with that. Part. Okay, so there's our letterhead. We just made some letterhead. 10 degrees. <laughs> okay, next. File. Open. We're going to use our envelope. So choose your envelope. Maximize the space. Zoom in. And let's make it. We're going to go ahead and grab our logo that we made from our previous letterhead. And we're going to go to our envelope and paste that right in that box on the left side. OK? OK, 
Okay, we're gonna take the stick out of the surfboard sticks. So we're gonna hit Command Shift G to ungroup that. Hit Command Shift G again to ungroup that. Command Shift G to ungroup that. And now we got stick. Okay, we're gonna scale it. Remember S to scale, double click. And for the scale, we're gonna choose 500. What number was that? And there you go. So we got stick, that's 500 on the scale. Okay, now we are going to transform it. Uh, if you look at the answer key, notice stick, it looks like that. That's what we're going to be doing. So to do that, we're going to transform, similar to what we did in Photoshop. The transform tool is right here on the left. E is the shortcut key to transform. Now, the transforming, sh uh, how to do this is very, very complicated. So you need to listen closely. Put your cursor at the bottom left-hand corner with your, uh, make sure you can see the double-headed arrows. Okay, then you're going to click and hold down Shift, Option, Command. Shift, Option, Command. And now you can distort it. Uh, this is the way we want it to be, like this. Okay. Now we're going to change the black to yellow. We're going to change the opacity to let's see, 20, 20 is the opacity. So it should look like this. Now notice how you can't really see it very well. So we're going to change the background of the letter to black. To do this, we're going to go to View Outline or Command Y. And you're going to be clicking on, um, to do this, you need to go to the Group Selection Tool, which is hidden under the Direct Selection Tool. And then you're basically going to click on the letters behind the top letters. Okay. So click, 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 and click. Then you're going to change that color to black. And then you're going to go to View, Preview, and then you'll notice that uh, we have our background color. Okay. So if you didn't get that, it's okay. Come back to it. Let's finish off with the uh, business cards. <laughs>